Welcome to this, the first in a series of short videos in which I'll be looking at private water supplies and examining the type of problems presented to their owners and their users. It's a bit blustery, but we are up in the hills in Calderdale. In future videos, I'll be looking at boreholes and a variety of methods of treating private water supplies. My name is Jeff Nemec. I'm founder and director of Spring Hill Water Services, a company that specialises in treating private water supplies. Today I'd like to show you a spring supply. Come over here. It's a bit treacherous underfoot. I'll just take a photograph. And that's the source of the Spring Hill supply. As you can see up on the tops there, we have an audience. Some sheep. The sheep wander down here. Because this is where the water is, of course. The British Standard Bath there, not yet plumbed in. <laughs> Other animals come down here, of course, lots of vegetation, and they can smell the water. Other bits of evidence are on the That's wool from the sheep, they come down and have a good scratch. This is the, the well head in more detail. As you can see, water seeping out of the back of this spring head. And that's the spring. I think most people, when they imagine a spring, think of a lovely bubbling flow of water coming from deep underground from some sparkling lake, but it's not like that. This type of supply, which is by far the most common type of spring supply, is better described as a surface derived source. Over here there's some excavation work and it's particularly interesting as it shows water. Water seeping out of the ground. The water passes through the top layer of soil, hits the clay and then the shale, and that's a spring source. It's amazing. Over 1% of the population in the UK get their water from a private water supply. Could be a borehole, could be a spring a well or a stream. In the case of a spring the problem is it's going to contain harmful pathogens. And these pathogens are excreted by animals such as deer, rabbits, cows, horses, sheep. Let me show you the stock proof fence. Uh, 
it's not bad but it's not going to keep deer and rabbits out might keep the sheep out or a cow if you look at the lie of the land here you'll see wait for the wind to drop You'll see that the, the land falls towards the spring head and certainly after rainfall faecal matter is going to wash into that source. You can't keep out the surface water because it is surface water and that means it will contain pathogens such as Cryptosporidium, Giardia, E. coli, Campylobacter. Interestingly enough, I undertook research at the University of Leeds and looked at this particular private water supply this spring. On some occasions, I would test it three times a day. What was strange is it could pass in the morning, fail at dinner time, and pass again in the evening. That's the nature of testing and of this type of com contamination and because it most certainly will contain faecal contaminants faecal contaminants <laughs> at various times during the year that's why you shouldn't really drink it unless you treat it for those of you who've had cryptosporidiosis you will know exactly what I mean. One percent of the population. Six hundred thousand people. And this is the UK. It's amazing really. Sixth richest country in the world. In future videos I'll take a look at boreholes and will look at the ways of treating this private water supply basically UV in a filter but in the meantime it never ceases to take my breath away the South Pennine Hills Millstone grit country. One more shot. Welcome to Yorkshire. My name's Jeff Nemec. This is Spring Hill. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.